Christmas is over, time to take down your lights. Wow, brand new house and they picked those colors. Oh boy, is that a house or a junkyard? And seriously, do your tires need to be that big? I don't understand people, why your curtains are closed day and night. Open them up, let the light in, get some vitamin D. Okay, what am I even looking at? Is she even wearing clothes? Ugh. Hey, how's it going? I'm Jason, and this is my lovely wife, Samantha. And we have been appointed by the Lord uh, for this Draw for God ministry to hopefully bring you as well as us closer to him through art and media. Yes, and today we are going to talk about having a critical heart and critical thinking. Mm -hmm. And criticalness is just the most judgiest way of thinking. It can happen as you're going down the road, um, at work, uh, in the mirror, on social media, in Walmart, <laughs> just anywhere. I have a scripture for you. It's Ephesians 4.29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful for building others up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. Mm -hmm. God is the judge. Mm -hmm. We are not the judge. We don't have a right to judge others or ourselves. So a good way that we hold each other accountable for the critical thinking and the critical speaking is one day we were going down the road like we were doing in the intro and uh, it was either Samantha or myself. It was probably her. Something. It was probably more oh, than likely okay. her. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she said something. I was like, okay, here we go. Here comes the critical bus. Beep, beep. And we just thought we started cracking yeah. up. But I'm like, that's the truth. We can literally go down the road and just chew up everything that we see oh, why is that tree leaning so far over that is crazy who planted that you know i mean we could just tear it up so yeah. we thought that if we're in between if we're in the midst of critically speaking whether it's to somebody or at something um that one of us will say beep beep and then that triggers us to remember to yeah, like, stop oof. just quit you know ultimately we want to catch it before it comes here actually we want to get it out of our hearts yeah but if it's in our hearts it's going to come out of our mouths uh scripture even says that so we want god to be a guard over our lips so we even hate to say the beep beep but that's a good thing that we like to practice is like hey beep beep yeah hello every morning when i start my day i pray for the holy spirit to take over my mind my body my soul when you have been reborn and you accept jesus as your lord and savior you get the gift of the holy spirit and the holy spirit helps you he helps you he guides you um he will tell you things like eh, don't say that mm -hmm. or when the holy spirit directs you not to say something and you say it anyway mm -hmm. just like we were talking and then the whole critical bus thing it, that's almost like a double alarm mm -hmm. like the spirit tells you then you're my accountability partner yeah but this goes to show that we are not perfect we are not perfect and we make mistakes every day but god still forgives us mm -hmm. but he wants us to be more and more like jesus and talking that way thinking that way you know especially about ourselves when jason brought up about the mirror um i have bad days where i look at myself like oh my gosh you're so fat and this and that god doesn't like that mm -hmm. god doesn't like it when you critical think about yourself mm -hmm. your spouse your friends just the world anything it's not good jason actually um brought this to me the um the other day when we were talking about this instead of criticizing compliment yeah. Don't criticize, compliment. And, and man, that just changes your whole perspective. So, you know, in the example that I showed earlier uh, about the, the truck having the big tires and loud and stuff, you know, I mean, the guy works a lot and he takes pride in his truck. You know, maybe his family likes big tires or something. I don't know. But I'm saying like, turn those critical thoughts into to compliments. And, and you'll see that just the negativity goes way out the window and you don't dwell on it and stuff. And, and like what I was saying earlier, we will feed off of each other. Like, mean, look at that. And oh my gosh, really? Like we'll bounce off each other. So again, instead of criticizing, compliment, think and look for the good and, and what you may be struggling with or looking at or whatever. But sh like she mentioned earlier, the Holy Spirit is there uh, to, to stop you. Listen to the Holy Spirit. It comes with self-control and pray. Pray for not having a critical heart. Daily, Pray daily, often, um, hourly, like me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
so that's it. We, we hope this video has been a blessing to you. Um, we encourage you to like, comment, share, whatever you need to do to, to get the video out to others. Uh, we do believe here at Golf for God that the light of the screen will lead someone to the light of the world. And that is uh, a huge uh, mission and goal for us. And we thank you for watching. Yep. Thank you. Bye. Beep, beep.